Okay. Well, haven't been riding in a while. It's been cold. Last week the highs were about 35. In fact, the high yesterday was only about 40. And today the high was 66 or 67. So, decided to get out on the road for a little bit. We're going to run into town, get a bite to eat. Just let the bikes run. Haven't been running over a week. But I really wanted to check out this new Cine Prism Tube camera that I got for Christmas. My son got it for me. And it's got a microphone here in the helmet. I don't know how good it's picking up yet, of course, till I get back and find out. But the few trials that I did with it, it seemed to do good. So maybe I can ride down the road and talk to you guys now. Who knows? It's uh, early January here in middle Georgia. Like I said, it was a high of 40 yesterday, almost 70 degrees today. Welcome to middle Georgia. That's about what it's like. It was supposed to rain all day. It rained a little bit this morning and cleared up. So just wanted to kind of get out and ride. I just like to get out and ride sometimes. Don't always know where I'm going, but I just go see what I can see. It's about what's around the next corner, not so much about where I've been. I suppose one of the most interesting things that have happened in Georgia lately was the football game that was yesterday, last night, actually, the Georgia Bulldogs. My alma mater is Georgia Tech, so I can't support the dogs, but uh, the Georgia Bulldogs played Alabama. And at first I thought they were going to pull it out and win, but it didn't turn out that way in overtime. As much as I don't want to root for the dogs, I didn't really want to see Alabama win either. <laughs> so, anyway, just some of the college football rivalry that goes on, and it's big here. We're, we're on Highway 16, and whenever there's a big football game in Athens, uh, we'll see quite a lot of cars going through, two and then leaving the game with the flags on the cars, showing their support for the Georgia Bulldogs. And it's... Uh, it's always entertaining. I try to avoid Athens when that's going on because the traffic's really bad. My wife and I did go through there on bikes one time when there was a game about to start that weekend. I think we hit it a few hours early, so it wasn't bad at all. But yeah, the, the traffic can get pretty bad around Athens during the football season. I hope the camera is picking up. I'd really like to do more blogs. I'll try to think of better things to talk about while I'm riding. I suppose most of you, or a lot of you, want to know about the bikes themselves. Uh, yeah, I get some flack over riding this thing at 60 miles an hour, but yeah, you know, we're doing 55 to 60, it's just fine. And yeah, if you're afraid, you get above 45 mile per hour, if you've got a rig like this, you're afraid to get above uh, 45 mile per hour due to squirrely handling or not being comfortable, you need to you need to get someone to check your setup. Make sure the rig is set up and aligned properly because, you know, 60 mile an hour going around this turn, I, I've got fairly neutral handling here. I, it's, it's not pulling me off the road. It's not in any heavy direction one way or another. I definitely know I've got a sidecar over there and I have to allow for it, but yeah, it's it's not a scary, it's just not a scary ride. It, it, it's 
feels controlled. I can maneuver. I can swerve the bike back and forth. I, I don't feel like I'm going to be in any danger or anything. But yeah, if, uh, if you've tried to ride one of these and when you got up to 50, 55 mile an hour, you were just terrified because you felt like you were going to fly off the side of the road or something, just go ahead and have the alignment checked on it. I run mine with about a 3 8 of an inch toe in, which is uh, pretty much the manufacturer's spec. But I, I have about a two and a half to three degree lean outward on the bike. And that's comfortable for me. It neutralizes the pull, makes the bike do what I want it to do. When I first got it, it had not quite one degree of outward lean. And I tell you, I didn't know better. I got on it and rode 300 miles. I thought I was going to have to get somebody to tow me home because um, I had my shoulders just couldn't take it anymore. It was a constant battle. Um, but fortunately, on the Soviet Steeds Forum, someone said, hey, check your alignment, do this, this, and this. And, and I did, and I started adding outward lean little by little, and I uh, thought I was adding too much. Finally, I got it to where it was nice and comfortable. Then I measured, and I had almost three degrees of outward lean. I later found out for highway cruising, um, some rigs just need more outward lean to get them to behave. My wife's rig is running about the same. I started her off at about one and a half degrees and I kept increasing the lean until she said she liked it and measured hers and it's it's right at that three degree lean as well. So oh, this is always a interesting intersection because I can't see behind me that well. It's clear today. I don't like intersections like that where you gotta turn around and look behind you. I have a hard time turning my head anyway. And welcome to the metropolis of Jackson, Georgia. That's where we are now. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess it's about 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock. I don't even know what time it is. We don't get as many looks as we used to. We've been riding around so much, people are starting to get used to us because my son and my wife are actually following me. My wife's on her rig. I don't know if you can see back there in the rear view. But uh, yeah, we've been riding around so much, most people know us. But we still get laughs and looks and points, which is fine. If you're shy, you don't want a girl. Now, if you're a Stranger Things fan on Netflix, the Stranger Things series that Netflix produced, a lot of it is filmed here in Jackson. We get to watch them close down streets and change signs out on the, the buildings up here on the square. And they film for sometimes a week or two at the time. They come in and film all the scenes and then wrap up and leave. Most of the locals have had a good experience with it, no trouble. Of course, like everything else, some locals wish they weren't here. And they actually film on that street over there, there's Jackson Drug. And the corner down there is actually where the theater is. They put up the, the mansard on front and then take it down when they're done. But they do most of the filming there and in that back alley we just passed. And then a little bit, I think they do a little bit of filming on either this street or the next one. I'm not sure which. Well, hopefully we got some good audio out of this and this uh, prism tube will be around for a while. But we're going to grab us a bite to eat and then probably just head back home because it is getting a little bit late.
but I'm glad you all came with me.